All full up. Can't carry any more. heavy breasted woman wearing serpents around her waist. This is Kwatli Q, whose name literally means skirt of snakes. She's also called Tetio Enan, the mother of the gods. She gave birth to the moon and the stars and had over 400 children, including the sun god, Witsli Apokli, who was also god of war. In addition to being a mother, she's seen as the devourer of all that lives. It's said that she was herself sacrificed to bring about this current age of creation. Me and Nedsley used to play together all the time, but I haven't seen him around a lot lately. I understand why, I think. He has important things to do, important for all of us here. But I miss him. No one could throw a stone farther across the river. Yane, matuchika hil bashku yalik mechilamu. Vale, dile tu kujal al bashu katle yo silobo. This depicts the story of Viracocha, the father of all creation. He formed the heavens, the earth, the sun and stars, the moon, time itself and all living beings, including the other gods. At first, Viracocha was considered to be the supreme god of the Inca, but with time that honor passed to his son, Inti, the god of the sun. Still, Viracocha retained his link to the sea. His name literally means fat or foam of the sea. After the long dry season, when the rains finally fell, the rats left their burrows looking for more food. They brought with them pests. Those afflicted bleed from their ears and nose and died in terrible pain and terrible numbers, leaving many once populous cities empty.
All full up. Can't carry any more. I don't think anything could have prepared me for this place. The people, their history, everything they've lived and who they are today. To hear him tell it, Amaru, Dominguez, Kukulkan, only wants to keep Paititi safe. But I've seen the lengths he'll go to, the murder and cruelty. I have to stop him. Unaratu approached the throne through the crowd. She walked beside it, but did not sit. Why do we continue to believe this lie? She asked the crowd. Kukul Khan controls this city, and I will no longer wear a smile and pretend it is any different. I will not be his puppet, trotted out to wave and smile. The guards cut her off quickly and ushered her away. Then they advanced, with weapons drawn to disperse the crowds. I'm not sure. The dialect is familiar, but something's not right. Thank you. 
I'm not sure. The dialect is familiar, but something's not right. The protectors failed and are now doomed to recover what they lost. I can't carry any more. Patoli is said to be one of the oldest games in America, played by all walks of life. Players were known to gamble all of their worldly possessions over a single round, from blankets and precious stones to their homes and even their family's freedom. The god of art and games, Makwal Shoktal, is considered an active participant in the game, responsible with bestowing offerings upon the winner. So much on the line for a simple game. Some things never do change. I'm not sure. The dialect is familiar, but something's not right.
This describes something nearby. Canals bring water to the arid parts of the village, and they washed me away. This should come in handy.
Where is my mother? She's settling matters between the guards and Hakan. What's it like outside by Didi? Well, a lot of things. It's a very big world. Bigger than Paititi? <laughs> Bigger than 100 Paititis. What? Will you take me there? I think your mother might have something to say about that. Hmm. What you're looking for is in there. How will I know when I found the right chamber? By the smell of death. If you survive, you can find your way back through the old irrigation system. I'll meet you there. Be careful. The cult often patrols there. A ceremonial whistle used during human sacrifices. The sound admitted from the skull-shaped instrument has been compared to the tormented screams of the dying and the dead. Its shrill cry is said to clear a path to the underworld for the recently deceased. The death whistle has also been used as an instrument of war, its cry striking fear into the heart of the unknowing enemy. Surging population and lack of civil planning caused the settlement many problems. Farmers clear-cut jungle to use the fertile riverbanks for their crops, resulting in a devastating flood in the first heavy rains. Overhunting forced hunters to travel ever further to find game. Several groups, each vying for a controlling interest in the settlement, debated often fiercely on the best manner of solving these problems. <laughs> This is a formidable weapon, heavy wood lined with sharp obsidian teeth. It could easily stop an unarmored enemy.
right. I don't have enough space for that. Through there. Having not heard from Lopez, some among the leadership began to have their doubts about him. Our group dispatched south to investigate. We sent the natives in first, uncertain those in the city had not killed Lopez on his arrival. They returned with reports of how sick the city was, and we quickly formed a plan to utilize this to our advantage. This seems to represent Unuratu leading a group in rebellion. There is a near total eclipse in the background. This must be the place Etsli mentioned. Steady, Lara, steady.
Okay, take it slow. You can do this. Ritual sacrifice. I have no choice. Is this one of the rebels? There's a way in somewhere. A serpent with a silver eye. I'm on track. Yes, through there. The smell keeps getting stronger. Laura, how's it going? I found another serpent with a silver eye. I must be getting close. You? Talking tattoos with Uchu. Tattoos? Yeah, you saw Unuratu's, right? It has a heron and an eclipse on it. That might have something to do with the silver box. I don't think so. that barrier. The lone figure appears in a state of peace, as though waiting for something. Gotta be a way to burn away that barrier. of oil and blood.
carry us down. Need to keep moving. Is this some kind of bloodletting chamber? A barrier. a way to turn the second wheel. Damn, it's flowing to the wrong place. Must have taken hundreds of sacrifices to get enough blood to fill these channels. Be a way to turn the second wheel.
Okay, now to bring that barrier down. Mm. Now, to find the silver box. This must be what Trinity is missing. There's the little rebel prince. Oh, 
Laura, if you can, head back. Uchu has something he wants to ask you. I think it's a favor. Okay, I'll make my way back as soon as I can. This elaborate pipe is sculpted to resemble Shaquatl, an Aztec serpent spirit painted in green, blue, and yellow. Its sides are decorated with semi-precious stones. The inclusion of jade indicates at least a measure of Maya influence. Will you trade? Please. I have barely made enough to offer in tribute. Tribute to who? The cult of Kukulkan, of course. They demand half of all profits earned on market day. But if they think I tried to short them... I understand. Thank you, Ishiki. Will you trade then? You have made an excellent choice, my friend. The gods favor us both. Thank you, friend. Unaratu must be worried about Etsli. I have to tell her he's been captured. The new methods of agriculture introduced by the cult of Kukulkan have only succeeded in destroying more crops. First, the bee colonies collapsed. Then the cocoa crop failed. The earth is too damaged for anything but corn to grow, and the stalks are flimsy. We must take action, or Paititi will suffer a tremendous famine. Thank <laughs> you. 